You all know George Thornton, right? Look at the botanist. Briefly, I want to give you a quick introduction. You probably haven't seen Lost Lake from this perspective. I stole this off of Google Earth. Um, and you can see we have the Canadian border up here at the top, the yellow line. Then there's the Ferry County line over there. This is Buckhorn Mountain. That's what we, that's the main focus and what initiated OHA in getting it started. So I don't go into any more detail than that. Uh, you can see down here would be the um, Beaver Beth Canyon and, and the network of roads. And we're looking kind of north and east and downward from this altitude. Uh, I think this is about maybe about 15,000 feet that we're looking down at in front. Okay, Lost Lake. It looks like we might have an old glacial moraine right in here and perhaps here. That's purely guesswork. I haven't gone out over the shovel to verify that. That said, why wouldn't it drain to the south where the motor park is? Well, you see this undulating terrain in here, and you have a really steep hillside here. Good guess, but that's all it is, is when the glaciers melted away, the hillside is too steep, it collapsed and dammed the south end. It's a guess, but you know, that's, what, that's the hypothesis I'm working on. And then after that happened, it started, you had the big lake, and then it's gradually filled in with vegetation and sediment. And that will continue, as long as we know, it will continue to fill in. So that gives you a little background. There are no creeks of any size that feed into Lost Lake. It's all springs that feed it, which is going to lead us to a very important story as we move through here. All right, we're going to take you on a little journey. Uh, you might recognize you've got Highway 97. Here is the uh, CCC. Up there is the high school, tennis courts, the football field, and the softball and baseball fields. Now, if I timed it right, there it goes. We're going up to, to Fancher Flats. You can see the circular irrigation. And you can see all the old water courses there, and you see the the, the various cracks in the rocks, and we'll continue up the road. And here's the, the drainage out of Fancher Dam. <clears throat> We're going to turn west, go towards the villa. And there's the villa right there. We're going to go up towards the forest. Yeah, then. <laughs> And you can see that this was Forest Service thinning here. Compare that to the DNR thinning. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say anything. You guys have to say anything. Here's the Myers Creek drainage. If you ever get a chance, you hike down in this canyon there. It's really neat, by the way. More Forest Service thinning. And this will be a DNR thinning if you go out there now. More Myers Creek. There's Buckhorn Mountain in the background. And here's the drainage now for Lost Lake comes out this direction. And we're going to turn to the south. <coughs> you see the Ferry County line back here. There's Lost Lake. The crossroads are right there. I was trying not to make anybody seasick. <laughs> and you can see that this is the preserve. And right so that is the outline of the property that Oha has bought. We've had it for pretty close to five years now. And, and you can see it's changed a lot. This is an old photo, old uh, satellite image. And then we'll zoom in a little bit. We're looking down at it in the north. We'll lower our helicopter down a little bit. Now, you can see before OHA was able to purchase the property, it was thin up in here. And there's the north boundary. So the OHA property is roughly like that. So we have the upland, 
which is will be gradually over the foreseeable future will be thinning it, would be letting it return to its more natural state. We don't, uh, you know, that's going to be long <coughs> effort, long past my lifetime. You have a, you have a little road now that the Forest Service has access because they have a pump that where the water from Lost Lake comes from is right down in this area where the springs are. Here's a band. The forest up here is primarily Douglas fir, a little bit of larch, and that's the primary forest up there. Along here is a that's big spruce. Some of it's getting kind of old and we having trees fall down, but it's repro reproducing and replacing itself. Down this area in here, it's a little this is what we call a calcareous fan, and I'll explain that in detail a little more later. You have a wetland forest. You can see that scattered around here. That's a real mixture. You have something called a bog birch. I'll show you a picture of that. You've got lodgepole pine. You have spruce. And you have willows and alder. It's pretty open in places. Then we've got the water that comes out of the springs, which are primarily up in here. This is all pond now from the beaver activity. And this, this is all pond back up into here. And all of this is pond. We had the property for less than two weeks. Julie and I go out there, and the beaver were getting started. Uh -huh. And that was, what five years ago now, Julie? That was the summer of 2010. 2010. Boy, time flies. <laughs> that said, they now have three tiers of dams. Mm -hmm. And the first one raises it maybe two feet. And then each succession of dams up in here and then up in here raise it another level. All of them are built on very old beaver dams. So this is not new. It's just a new generation. So this whole area has seen these, this amount of change over time and it just goes through cycles. The beaver eventually will eat all their food, and they will move on. And then there will be regrowth, and the beaver will come back. This cycle, I don't know, 20, 50 years, 100 years, we're just seeing a small window of it right now. But what we find out here is very interesting stuff that has a longer lifespan than the beaver. Now let's move on. The top of Bonaparte. Again, here's this undulating terrain, and you can see the steep cliff up here. My best guess is it collapsed and dammed up the, uh, the south drainage. Pretty steep, and then it tapers off. You get the same pattern over here: a steep ridge, and it tapers off. And it has that goes way back and. And there's some geology stuff and plate tectonics and stuff like that. Why it's tilted like that. 